This is Personal Injury Court. Good day, everyone. This is the matter of Clinton versus Florence. Uh, Mrs. Clinton, Mr. and Mrs. Florence, I've read the materials that you've submitted to this court. It's my understanding, Ms. Clinton, that you are suing the Florences for injuries that you sustained while at a birthday party for kids on the Florence's property, and you're suing them for $10,000 in medical expenses, $7,500 for lost wages, and $82,500 for pain and suffering for a total of $100,000. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. And Mr. and Mrs. Florence, you all believe that she was a mama bear. She was a, a bit of a pushy parent, and she's kind of responsible for her own injuries, right? Yes, she is Your responsible. Honor. All right, now let's get into the legal sauce. What, what led up to you going to this birthday yes, party? Yes, my, my son um, and th the Florence's son go to school together. And I don't know them very well just from when we used to be on PTA together. But you had met them before this time? Yes, a few times, Your Honor. Okay. So they invited us to a birthday party for their son. And um, we were under the impression it was going to be a lot of kids their age. They were going to have um, farm animals there that the kids could interact with. Um, you know, all the parents were excited. All the kids were excited. My son kept begging me to be able to go. Had you ever taken your son to a, a petting zoo or anywhere where there were animals before this day? Yes, Your Honor, I had. So you knew what to expect? Correct. Okay. Correct. Mm -hmm. um, and we arrived, and, and um, things did not turn out the way they should have. So, Mr. and Mrs. Florence, this happened at your home. Mm -hmm. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, you all were planning for this birthday party, planning to have some animals, right? What, what went into the planning? Uh, well, Your Honor, we own a llama farm, so okay. uh, my son wanted to show off the llamas to all his friends. So it's fair to say that y'all know llamas, yes, right? Your Honor. Yes, I mean, Your it's Honor. kind of a, an odd thing to know, but y'all know llamas because you raise llamas. We do, yes, Your Honor. We've okay. been raising llamas for 10 years, Your Honor. Yes. What, what makes a llama special? Well, first off, they're very docile creatures. They're, they're fantastic. <laughs> we, we have a good time with them, and, and they're cute. You know, yeah, they, they look like sweet animals, <laughs> but, sweet animals. you know, Winnie the Pooh looks sweet. <laughs> See, there's... There's yeah. our llama right there. Yes. We take them to events. We take uh, Mabel and DeAndre to, to events, and we've never had an issue. We've yeah. never had an issue. So, they're, so they're you said children. Mabel. The llama's name is Mabel? Yes. You all name the llama? We do. Yes. They're okay. part of the family. You're so right. having a llama at a birthday party, had y'all done this before? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, did anything happen before? No, Your Honor. Miss Clinton, tell me how you get to the party, now what happened? How did you get hurt? Okay, uh, sure. So, uh, Your Honor, we were at the party. Kids were running around, having a good time. Okay. Uh, the llamas were, uh, were roaming around in a pasture, meadow, if you will. There were no pins of any kind that were containing. There were no ropes anywhere. There were nothing to hold the llama in place. Were you concerned at this point for your safety, well, your son's safety? Your Honor, not, these are not, not lions. Not They're llamas. Uh, Honor. Yes, sir, I understand. <laughs> so, we really didn't think we would have a reason to be concerned. It was only when um, we were told by the Florences that, uh, you know, the kids could get closer to take pictures and possibly... And that was one thing you wanted to do. Correct. People want to create these memories. Yeah. I, I uh, took my son to a petting zoo and, uh, <laughs> right. you know, when you think about it, yeah. Honor, it's, a, it's a happy thing, but yes, when sir. you get close to it, it can be a little scary. That is correct. So tell me what happened with Mabel. So, as I was saying, we were able to get closer per the permission of the Florences. Okay. They told everyone we could get closer to take pictures. <laughs> as a group, a lot of the kids ran up. The parents were with them to take pictures. There were several parents and people that were taking pictures from afar. How close to Mabel are you at this point? Um, I would say maybe two feet, three feet tops. Two so inches, Your Honor? That's, yeah. that's pretty close. Uh, it, no. <laughs> were, were you comfortable at two feet away? Yes, as I said, I've never had an issue with the llama before, especially in a petting zoo. So so what uh, happened? Uh, so we're standing there in front of the llama, uh, ready to take pictures. We were told that it was a gentle animal. Okay. Uh, so we took that word, and we start to take pictures. And I noticed that the llama starts getting fidgety and um, wiggling around, moving a little was bit there more. Was there flash or anything that made uh, her wiggle? Not at that point. Okay. Uh, so the kids... A I mean, wiggling llama. <laughs> well, Your okay. Honor, what she hasn't told you about this is that she went straight up to Mabel, yep. and to get a picture with her son, she started snapping in Mabel's face and, and whistling. Okay, now, te true, now tell me about that. So, that is not true. Hold on, act like hold on. Around an animal, That's you're important. Get what you deserve. That's important. Okay. Did you snap when uh, you're getting trying no, to get Mabel's attention? No, Your Honor, I was not snapping. No, I did. Yes, she did. I did try to get did. attention of the llama so that it wasn't looking away from the camera. By 
just snapping her uh, fingers. So, so yeah. you're up close to Mabel. Right. You're I'm trying to get a photograph. From, uh, I'm trying to get a photograph. How do you get hurt near a wiggling llama? <laughs> well, Your Honor, as, I'll tell you how she got hurt. Well, I asked her. Let me, let, I'll hear from you. Uh, so, Your Honor, um, as I could tell that the llama was getting agitated, I pushed my son out of the way. And I, as I tried to flee from it as well, it actually reared up and it spit on me. And I tried to flee. And you when it reared it. up, I slipped I'd spit and at you fell too. and hurt my back. No one deserves to be hurt like this. No one deserves to be hurt, if you period. Followed instructions, especially you at a never kid's been birthday hurt. party. That's right. If my you son was traumatized All because these other of what kids happened follow to instructions me. And no one else got hurt. I'm in so much pain. Yeah, and sure. so is my son from seeing this. I can't even hold my son like I used to. I can't do can't anything that a mom should be able to do because Folks, of what I need order. did. Yes, sir. I need order in this court. Tell me about your injury specifically. Okay. What happened to you? Uh, sure. So between my C1 and C2, I herniated my disc in my okay. back. And um, it causes a lot of swelling and aches and pains and muscle spasms mm. in my back. Basically, if you don't mind, I can show you. Yes, ma'am. It causes radiating pains. This is painful. Uh, and they radiate all the Does the, the down. brace help? It does, but it's only temporary. Tell me about the impact of this on your job. So I've actually missed uh, 62 days of work. Ms. Clinton, you're asking for $82,500 for pain and suffering. Yes. That's a lot of pain and suffering. Yes, so Tell me about that experience. Yes. It hurts everything. It's not just my back. It, the back is connected to everything. Mabel should be suing so, her. Yes, so, <laughs> Mr. Florence, do you really mean that? Mabel is the victim of this case. We're the victims. Yeah. Please we, tell me how Mabel oh, is okay. the victim. Well, first off, Your Honor, <laughs> before we gave specific instructions, we did. I got about when we go see the llama, do not come close, no loud noises, no fast, jerky movements. Oh, and and mm, did y'all know later. that this kind of stuff agitates Mabel? Yes. yes. Well, that's absolutely. how mamas are, Your Honor. You, you, <laughs> you treat them with respect and you walk slowly toward them. Here, here's the problem, Your Honor. Even though they're stating that they, they gave clear instructions, no, they did not. They said, don't come near the llama. You know, don't. And then she bums rush the llama, I, Your Honor. She, I she, don't even know what that means. Mr. Florence, tell me this. Distance is obviously important, yeah, right? Exactly. But what, what, hold on. on what made you think that she was too close? Well, well, we saw her picture on social media. Look how close Look, that, oh, that is. Hold on. That is film. not, is that that is is not that even two feet, feet away. Sorry, Your Honor. Please, order in this court. Yes, sir. I got to hear from both of you to get to the truth. Tell me a little bit about Mabel. Well, Give her some flavor so well, I, I can get close to her. Well, Your Honor, when she was born, she, we didn't think she was going to make it. The vet said she probably wasn't going to make it. And um, so Mabel is is our, our miracle llama. Mm -hmm. You know, we've, we had to hand feed her and, and <laughs> sure. we raised her. And there's times where... She sounds like she's kind of your baby. Oh, she, she is. is. <laughs> okay. Llamas are a little bit like dogs, Your Honor. So they're very <laughs> um, personal. They have their own personality. That's a big dog. How, how big are these llamas when they're full grown? How big are they? They can get pretty big. As big as a, as a full grown man. Okay, that's that's pretty big dog <laughs> if you compare them to dog. Your Honor, may, may I interject? Yes, ma'am, please. Uh, looks are very deceiving when it comes to that llama because it looks sweet on the film. Yes, ma'am. Uh, and there's a couple of things. Um, there's pins that are shown on the on the, the film right there. Yes, ma'am. They were not there during the party. We were told that there was going to be like a petting zoo. There were going to be animals that were available to be uh, taken pictures with, come close to. So uh, you expected correct. that your son correct. and you would have the joy of petting well, Mabel. Correct. Okay. And, and also that it's common sense when you have young children around wild animals um, that you have no, safety signs or safety precautions somewhere around. That is not a sweet animal. We went expecting to be able to go up, take pictures, maybe even pet the llamas. You know, that's what the invitation, you know, that's what all the kids were talking about. My son was excited to do that. Well, it just says llamas. I don't know where she got the idea that we were running a petting zoo, that we were just going to have animals around yeah, to but touch. But you, you all expected that people would want to touch Mabel, right? They right. what? They I mean, she honor. is beautiful, right? Yes, she is. It's my understanding that y'all brought Mabel. We yes, did. Sir. Yes, Your Honor. Now, if she spits on me, we got a problem. You know that. I don't think we need to worry about now, it. Now, you all brought your, your cousin, I guess, is the llama handler? Yes, yes sir. So, Sheriff Matt... I need you to go get Mabel yes, and sir. bring Mr. Florence in. God. Okay. We're gonna meet Mabel. I know Mabel and I'm scared to death of Mabel. This should be the other way around. I think she's Here's probably Mabel. Fri frightened of you. Oh, y'all gonna make me get a llama. Hey, girl. <laughs> Does this look like a, a, a creature that's gonna harm anybody, Your Honor? Look, 
She's beautiful. This well, thank, is, thank you, Your Honor. She is beautiful. Thank you, Your Honor. We think so, too. Miss Clinton, I must tell you that Mabel doesn't look like a raging beast. I mean, this isn't a but hyena she, in a harness. She, but she also has someone holding her reins and, and keeping next to her when that was not the case at the party. Mr. Florence, uh, tell me about Mabel. Uh, she is a five-year-old llama. She's raised around the farm and used to being around people. How is it that you know when Mabel is getting agitated or irritated? Uh, you can tell a lot by body language, mostly with these guys. They don't make much noise, but you can tell a lot by the... Her ears are up, so she's pretty relaxed, uh, watching their tail. Pacing is a big issue. So her ears go down when she gets agitated? Yeah, when she's... Uh, if it's I don't... opposite to a dog. Right, like when, when I'm not giving her, her treats or when she's kind of nervous about She's looking at me, too. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Miss Clinton, you look like you are scared of Mabel right now. I am. I'm she terrified. She's such a fake. I'm terrified because, I, you know, I noticed that he's standing closer to the llama than I was, but it attacked me and I Well, he's a llama anything. handler, though. Yeah. He, he knows he's llama. Llama's quiet. his middle name. <laughs> Mr. Florence, is it okay? Is it okay that I come over and touch Mabel? Absolutely, yes. Just so you, uh -huh. just so you move slowly and don't make a lot of noise. You're I'm fine. not usually accused of moving fast. Make a lot of noise. All right. <laughs> now, Matt, Ooh, you know what to do if Mabel jumps out of line. Don't run. <laughs> don't run, Your Honor. Let me put this this uh, Barry White on her. Hey, Mabel. <laughs> <laughs> Now, where would I touch her? Uh, their necks. They're kind of head shy, uh, as kind of far coming towards her face. Okay. Yeah, her neck. Is... She reminds me of somebody I met once. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful. You're, you're She's honest, beautiful. You don't sweet know. girl, Be Your Honor. Thank you, sir. A sweet Hello. girl. Oh, gosh. Yeah, a sweet girl. Seems pretty docile to me, Miss Clinton. Well, <laughs> Your Honor, if you want to do what she did towards Mabel? Yeah, Mabel's gonna do the same thing to you, probably. T tell me about the... What, what's that all about? She was trying to get a picture, and she put her son right next mm -hmm. to the llama. Okay. And then she started to snap at Mabel to get her to and look whistle. at her and whistle. Okay. So she's right next to Mabel's face, mm -hmm. and now, she's Mr. snapping Florence, when, like this. When people do that to a llama such as Mabel, what's likely to happen? If it's too startling, anything that's going to startle them is going to, is going to cause them to try to retreat, to pull back. Mm -hmm. So she's, uh, I mean, obviously, I'm giving her treats. If I stop feeding her, I mean, obviously, do we she's need never, to get out she's of never here? been in a courtroom either. So uh, I did wave my hand to get the llama's attention for the picture, yeah. but I did not snap so, to make noise. So you waved your hand. I heard them heed that warning. You waved your hand, but you didn't snap. Any kind of noises that they're suggesting that I made was, was mimicking the noises that I heard them making towards the animal. I did no. it. So to you try made their noise. Noises to Mabel. I tried, no. yes. Do it to well, me. I'm Mabel. <laughs> I tried. No. I like tried. this? No, no, Your Honor. I did not snap my fingers. Okay. Uh, Mr. Florence, <laughs> you and uh, beautiful Mabel may leave. Oh. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Bye, Mabel. Your Honor, as you see, Mabel is used to people. She only responds aggressively when someone acts aggressively towards her. Absolutely. And we have never had that issue before. It has never happened. Y'all <laughs> basically say, Zero responsibility Absolutely. for you. Yes, sir. All her I fault. think it's totally on her. Mr. Florence, you, you've said a certain feeling about this oh, yeah, that, that's, that doesn't involve a soft heart. It, well, I mean, first you, off, you, you see she's us. hurt, right? And, and, it, well, and it certainly well, is we, no we fun are, to be spat are upon. We're truly sorry that she is hurt. Oh, yes, ma'am. But we yeah. feel but like it's doing. so unjust to us when we were trying to include nice. her son. Yes. She has a reputation. She has a reputation mm -hmm. as an aggressive mother. Well, she got kicked off the PTA at school. I think school. she was drunk. Kicked, she came in Kicked drunk, off no, the PTA. I don't even drink. I mean, Miss Clinton, that's a big... It's kind of like flunking kindergarten or something. <laughs> How you get kicked out of the PTA? Well, ever since I did meet Mrs. Florence... Yes, ma'am. I found out, you know, and feel like she's always had a vendetta against me. Do you <laughs> think she got you kicked out of the PTA? Yes. and the reason I say that is the because... The plot thickens. Oh. <laughs> this started out as llama <laughs> drama. Yes. Now this is mama drama. If, your and, Honor. And, Your Honor, it should I have been never I didn't know I had this up. drama, Your Honor. This is a new one for me. I think I've heard enough. I'm ready to render my decision. In every personal injury case, you really have three things you have to prove. Mrs. Clinton, you have to prove that the Florences were wrong and that their wrong caused your injuries. Here, though, Mrs. Clinton, you moved. You pulled your boy out the way. You tried to get a photo. There, that's taking some risk when you don't know this animal. You are, on the other hand, close to the animal, taking pictures, loud noises, Swift movements, those things set Mabel off, and you should have done a better job to notify parents, because, frankly, we're dealing with kids. A kid could have gotten Thank hurt. You. But this case represents a shared fault. 
That is, the law recognizes that fault can be compared. It's called comparative negligence. Here, I find that you were responsible, but you weren't half responsible. You decided to run. Some would call that an overreaction. You all are certainly at fault because this llama was within your control. You could have given better instructions. I find that you are 49% responsible. And instead of awarding you $100,000 as you seek, I'm going to award you 51% of that, and that is $51,000 against the Florences. That is my final decision, and this matter is adjourned. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. It's my understanding, Mr. and Mrs. Morton, that you are suing Mr. Abernathy for rattlesnake bites to your hand from property that you recently purchased from him. You're asking this court for a total award of $330,000, and that includes $65,000 for medical expenses, $250,000 for pain and suffering, and $15,000 for snake removal because there are still snakes on your property. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. And this is a video of the snakes on your property? Yes, it is. Now, Mr. Abernathy, you don't believe this is your fault because you said you didn't know that there were snakes on their property. Yes, Your Honor. So this is as big of a surprise to you as it is to them. I had no idea. Well, let's get into the legal sauce. Now, tell me how you, you all chose to buy this property. Well, me and my wife, Kim, had been discussing having more children. We already have one four-year-old. We found a beautiful house on, owned by the defendant. What was special about this property? From a woman's point of view. That's what I wanted. Yes. To uh, it's, look at it. It's a perfect, it has a perfect view. It's huge. I do want, you know, two, three more kids. Okay. Um, and this was perfect. It has space for a pool, a huge front and backyard. I mean, it's two acres. It's yeah. beautiful. It's perfect. Now, Mr. Abernathy, how did mm -hmm. you come to even have this property? Well, my family has had five acres of desert land uh, all my life. Okay. And I needed some extra cash. So I took two acres of the land and I built this house on it. Um, I agree. It's a beautiful house. It's perfect for a growing family. And uh, I sold it. To these folks. So you're happy to sell them the property? Absolutely. What, what happened to the other property? The other property I've kept for myself. All right, so you all buy the house, right? And, and then what happens? Well, a couple of weeks after we bought the house, my daughter, she's getting into soccer. You know, she's, she's four. We went outside just to practice and play around, you know, kick the ball around. And it rolled off. You know, we're in the desert. You can see we have a lot of brush on our property. Sure. And uh, the ball just... It, is, it, it got into some brush far away from me. I had to go chase it down. I didn't want her to go chase it. Okay. Uh, well, I came over to the bush and I started reaching inside of it. I wasn't sure what it was right away. Okay. But I felt something just sink into my hand. I jumped back and I looked down at it and I could see there was a snake in the bush. I felt those fangs sink into my hand. Your Honor, Your Honor. Yes, sir. Snakes, snakes don't just bite people unprovoked. Okay. I mean, he would have had to have been messing with it. Now, that snake. snake looks like it bites. Now, well, is this the kind of snake that bit you? Yes, Your Honor, it was a rattlesnake. And you know what? They bought a house in a desert. There are okay. going to be snakes there. So They're not going to have polar bears the in the desert. And so, yeah. so, being out in the desert, you owned this property. Did you ever see snakes out there before you so sold them this property? Not on this property, Your Honor. Oh, you're you know, lying. I don't want to blame the victim, but. It's definitely his fault if he got well, bit by Well, let me understand this. Let me understand this. You're out there with your daughter. Yes. You all are kicking the ball around. The ball goes into the bushes. You reach for the ball, and then what happens? I didn't realize it was a snake at first, but looking back on it, that I felt those fangs sink into my hand, and it was just so painful. Immediately, I, could, I felt like I could feel a really terrible burning sensation that just started migrating all through my arm. I could hear him screaming. So I that's how you knew something was house. wrong? Yes. I was inside the house and I could hear him screaming, the kind of scream that you just know something is bad. My mom would say those are mommy's ears. Oh. <laughs> and yes, I knew my daughter was outside too. Yes, she so was. I ran outside and I see my daughter just paralyzed staring at daddy and daddy is Bleeding. So your, your little daughter. girl saw this. Yes. I was terrified for her to see that. There <laughs> no was blood kid everywhere. Have to watch that. No kid should have to be so in those Abernathy, circumstances. How is this my problem? I didn't know there were snakes on that land when I sold it to them. Mr. Abernathy, hold on for a minute. Okay. Now you realize that that he had a terrible snake bite, right? I'm sorry. With his that. little girl watching. 
Now, you didn't know that there were snakes on his property, That's right? Correct, Your Honor. Now, what was your idea of the property before you sold it in terms of whether snakes were on there? I didn't know there were snakes on the property. So, Mr. Abernethy, this is not your fault. No, Your Honor. Uh, did... I did not know there were snakes on the property. It's they purchased the land, it's their land. Did it surprise you that there were snakes on their property? You did say it was the desert. It is the desert? Yeah, I've, I've never seen snakes on that land. All the time during the construction, never saw one. Now, you kept part of this property, right? Yes, I did. How about, how about your property that you kept? Were there snakes on that property? Um, can I show you? Sure. All right, so which one is your property? So this property is mine over here, 14. That's the three acres I kept. Okay. Um, number 13 is the property that I built the house on and sold to the Mortons. The house that was shown in that photograph? Yes, okay. Your Honor. So I will say that I have seen snake activity on these three acres okay. in the past. So he um, knew! Now, that, now those, yeah. are, those are, are, are drawn like it's a bunch of snakes. Why, why that? Um, they're actually snake nests. Uh, okay. that are on the, this property. But, Your Honor, that's why I kept this property on my own. I sold them the property that had no snakes on it. Are Your Honor, if he knew that there were snakes on this property, you should have had our property inspected. <laughs> the Mordens purchased this land fair and square. We had a contract. There could be snakes on any of that Exactly. Land. It's so not you're my that you problem. Now, not Mr. Abernathy, I saw a snake snakes. in the world. Mr. Abernathy, I saw the video. That's a lot of snakes. Look at that. Yes, Your Honor. And I fully disclosed everything I knew about both the house and the property. And you said you knew I there were snakes. You didn't snakes. tell us that there I were snakes. I did not know that there were snakes. You, you knew there were snakes on your life. other three acres. Order in this court. Sorry. Address your comments to me. Snakes don't know where the line is. He Look, knew there were snakes. Mr. Morton, your injuries are pretty severe. Are, are you left-handed? I am. Yes, sir. You already have $65,000 in medical expenses. It's piling Tell up. me exactly what your injuries are. That's a lot of bills. OK, well, whenever we arrived at the hospital... Yes, sir. I went inside. I told them I was bit by a rattlesnake. They wasted no time giving me anti-venom. It was swollen. He could barely breathe. <laughs> This is a shot of your hand? Mm -hmm. Mr. Abernathy, you see that, right? I see it, Your Honor. I didn't bite him. I didn't stick well, my hand well, in a... In a you in might have that, that, that seems a little callous, though, right? I mean, this is a bad injury. Your Honor, the money that they are asking me for... That's your, that's your arm? Mm -hmm. Look here. The, the money that they are asking for from me for something that happened on their property will change my entire life. I don't, I can't afford that. I've been told that I may lose my hand. You understand that his entire life look. has changed too, right? I, I, want, I want you to look at that. That is nasty. That is nasty. I'm still undergoing surgeries today. So, Mr. Abernathy, does this, this rock your heart a little bit? Whether you're responsible look, or I, not, this gotta touch you, right? Sure, I'm sorry you got bit. I, I may lose know how my this hand. Is my problem. You're not... I just don't know how you this is my problem. I sold you a house that's perfectly good, a perfectly good piece of land. Look, he oh, no. disclosed to you yes, and sir. everyone in this room that there are snakes on our property that yes, he knew about. And you, and you agree with that, right? No, that, no Your not Honor, that you I did knew. not know that there were snakes on their property, the property that they bought. There are snakes on my property that I still own. You knew? There were snakes. You put my family at risk because you wanted cash. You're a greedy, inconsiderate, dishonest person. So, Mr. Abernathy, the closest thing to a snake. Like I took a snake. And you you threw it out. destroyed my family, and you need to pay. Before any of the surgeries, I'm forty thousand dollars in debt. Anti venom that, is expensive. It yeah. sounds like you, you needs, see that, right? Yes, but it sounds like he needs better insurance, Your Honor. Oh. No. Whoa. Wait, 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 hold on for a minute, hold on for a minute. How, where does that come from? He suffered a terrible injury. He could almost lose this hand. Don't you feel a little bit? Your Honor. Even I, if this isn't your fault, don't you say, well, maybe morally, I, I should have told him. Your Honor, my eyes are starting to hurt from rolling so much. I mean, this is... Oh, oh come on. You know, your, your sarcasm makes me smell a snake in the grass. Exactly. Oh. I'm very sorry you that bad. he stuck his hand in the hole. There's oh, a reason. Come on. There's a reason you feel bad, and that's because you knew you, know, you should have uh, told the truth. Did. Yeah. This court has consulted an expert.
Hope Bennett, who's a herpetologist, a snake expert. She's going to tell us a little bit about these rattlesnakes and how they live. So, Sheriff Matt, will you get Miss Bennett? Miss Bennett, come on in. Could you state your name for the record, please? Hope Bennett. All right, Miss Bennett, what does a herpetologist do? They're actually responsible for just knowing more about snakes and how they work and their habitat and where they're found and be able to handle and understand more about snakes. What are the risks to someone who's been bitten by a snake? Well, the risk because they're a hemotoxin. The venom will actually come from the sac when it bites and goes into the tooth. And they'll bite quickly and let go, but it will shoot that venom into the bloodstream or around, and you'll automatically start, your blood will not, will stop clotting, and you'll start having tissue necrosis. It will start kind of rotting the tissue. Mr. Abernathy claimed that the property he sold to the Mortons, he didn't know there were snakes over there. Is that possible? That they stay on one side and don't go to the other? They're going to be hunting for food, and they're going to go where food is available. And so they're also going to be opportunistic, and if there is that many snakes, they're going to move out and find new territory. Like if construction is happening and you're digging up holes, they're going to take advantage of those holes and look for new sources for food. Do you believe that Mr. Abernathy would have no idea whether there are snakes on the property he sold to the Mortons? Unless he did not walk his property at all or did not make his rounds, I can't see how he would not know that there were snakes on his property. Mr. Abernathy, I was born at night, but not last night. <laughs> Thank you, Ms. Bennett. I appreciate you. You may be released. So, Mr. Abernathy, this is nasty stuff. Do you see why these folks have sued you? Your Honor, I'm very sorry that he's going through pain. I'm very sorry they got bit. I'm sorry that they're going through all these things. However, we put the house on a 60-day escrow, which is much longer than normal. He had 60 days to look at the property. They had a home inspector come through, didn't see any snakes. The house they was saw, perfect. The house, the house saw, is perfect. They had a land surveyor come out and no snakes. To mark our property crew. line, he's so, looking so for So they snakes. had people walking this property on their behalf and no snakes. And I show you the document that they signed because they purchased this house as is, where is. Okay, which Sheriff Matt, if you'll look at this. It is now up to them. As is, where is. Yes, Your Honor. You all signed a sales contract, right, to buy this house like everybody does when they buy a house. Yes, the uh, sales contract reads, the property is being sold, quote, as is, where is, which has legal significance I'm going to tell you about, end of quote. Such conditions include with all faults, end quotes, as of the offering, contract date, and as of closing. You all see that. And and uh, that's your signature on that document, Mr. Morton? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, y'all yeah. had this contract. You had an opportunity to read it, right? Mm -hmm. We did. Now, let me give you a legal lesson. Anytime you buy something as is, it is buyer beware. That is, you buy it in its current condition and you take into account everything that's there known and unknown. But I truly believe that he knew and he just, he chose not to tell us about the snakes. There's no way that if he knew there were three large snake dens on his property, that he didn't at least suspect that there I were snakes that. on the property I that I purchased. I understand that, Mr. Morton. I, I do. Mr. Abernathy, you got snake dens uh, on the property you kept. You understand you're under oath fire. today, right? Yes, Your Honor. I want to give you one last chance to shoot straight with me. Did you know there were snakes on the property you sold these people? Your Honor, I did not know that there were snakes on that property that they now own. Sir, I don't say this often, but I think you're a liar. Thank you, Your Honor. We deserve compensation. I may not heal from you. Your Honor, I'm Folks, I've heard enough, it. and I'm ready to render my decision. In every personal injury case, the plaintiff, you all have to prove that the defendant, Mr. Abernathy, did something wrong and that his wrong caused the harm to you. Yes, sir. Here, you all have proven that you didn't know snakes were on your property and you were bitten and suffered a terrible, terrible injury. Yes, Your Honor. You all been through a terrible ordeal, frightened your little girl, changed your life, changed you as a daddy, a husband, a family, and my heart goes out to you here, you all have proven that Mr. Abernathy knew that there were snakes on his property and should have told you about the snakes on his property so that you would anticipate there being snakes on your property. Yes. 
You have shown $65,000 in medical expenses, terrible injury. That's minimum. You all want him also to remove the snakes from your property. You currently have dens on your property, mm -hmm. right? Yes, yes sir. You're on. Now, Mr. Abernethy, you believe that you didn't see snakes on the parcel that you sold them? You knew there were snakes on your part, but you never saw them on their part. They had people walking around there that could have told them. And had you seen snakes on their property, you would have told them about it, right? That's right, Your Honor. But you don't believe that this is your fault. Mr. Abernathy, throughout this case, I've taken note of your um, approach to your responsibility. I find that you are morally responsible. You should have told them. I find you're ethically responsible. That's just the right thing to do. I also find that you're personally responsible as a man selling something to someone else. However, the Mortons have not proven that you misrepresented anything and you sold this property as is, where is, and that legal term in your contract means something and it means I must find in your favor, despite how much it pains me, and against you, that is my final verdict Judge. and this matter is adjourned. Oh.